I've given you seven reasons we need to rupture the rapture teaching of the secret coming of the Lord that catches away uh, the church and leads everybody leaves everybody else behind to face some great tribulation. I'm I'm telling you, it's a sacred cow. It needs to be slaughtered. Uh, it's paralyzed the church, and it's just wrong. I've given you seven reasons to rupture the rapture. You can check out the previous spotlight videos back from this one that you're watching now, or you can go online and check out our entire series called Ask for the Old Paths, and uh, all that's in there in more detail. But uh, I want to close out this little segment with the question, if the secret rapture teaching is wrong, then what is right? What does the Bible really say about uh, the end times and about eschatology? Uh, and uh, David Chilton, uh, the late David Chilton, sums this up in his amazing book, Paradise Restored. Uh, Chilton says, quote, the Bible gives us an eschatology of dominion. It is a solid, confident, Bible-based assurance that before the second coming of Christ, the gospel will be victorious throughout the world. Now, I know this is a short video, but I gotta say that again. The Bible gives us an eschatology or view of the end times of dominion. It is a solid, confident, Bible-based assurance that before the second coming of Christ, the gospel will be victorious throughout the whole world. Now today, uh, you could say the Christian camp is divided into, uh, Christians are divided into two camps, uh, and it's not Catholic and Protestant. It's not charismatic, non-charismatic. It's really between optimists and pessimists. Uh, you could really sum up the body of Christ as far as how they see the future as optimists and pessimists. Dispensationalists uh, have created a sacred cow called the secret rapture that's built for the pessimists who have no faith that the gospel can prevail in time and history before Christ comes again. In his great book, Rapture Fever, Gary North says, dispensationalism produces an evasion of responsibility through the invention of a false doctrine, the secret rapture. Uh, you know, I just can't say these things better than these great men, so that's why I quote them. Uh, Gary North nails it. He says, dispensationalism produces an evasion of responsibility through the invention of a false doctrine known as the secret rapture. In other words, if you think God's, if you think the church if you have no if you have no eschatology of victory, then you have an eschatology of defeatism. And if you have that, you need a doctrine like the secret rapture uh, because that's the only way you're going to be able to justify your evasion of responsibility uh, regarding the culture, regarding the condition of the nation and the government. Uh, pessimists, Dispensationalists see all this is out of our hands. It's going to get worse and worse. Nothing we can do about it. Time short. Get ready for the rapture. Uh, rapture flight 777. I got news for you folks. You can unpack your bags. I hate to announce, but the flight has been delayed. There is a lot that has to happen before that second coming. So, again, uh, I hope you'll check out all the teachings on this. The secret rapture is a sacred cow. needs to be killed. It's hurt the church for long enough. It's time for God's people to awaken, grab hold of an eschatology of dominion and victory, and begin to exercise our faith, to redeem our culture, to bring America back to God. It can happen. It will happen by God's grace in Jesus' name. Please check out the teachings online. Let me know what you think. If you uh, get, Reach out to me. I will get back with you. Hope you have a blessed day. And let's keep, let's keep plowing and advancing ahead for the kingdom of God. In Jesus' name, amen. <music>